Welcome back to Tiny Town. In the last video, we built this super creepy SCP. It's the giant ball of meat that eats people. <laughs> they go inside, they turn into bone furniture. It's disgusting. Today, we're going to build another one, though. That's right, we're building SCP-3166. That's really hard to remember. This guy, though, I built this champ. He's a video game character. I asked you guys to guess who it is, and a lot of you actually guessed. It is Pyramid Head. That's right. From Silent Hill. Let's get rid of this dude. Get rid of the tunnel thing. Jobbot is so impressed. Look how impressed he is. Look at him, like, <laughs> teleporting around the place. Hang on. Snapping off. There we go. Alrighty, champ. You can just lie in the sand. Get yourself a tan. We need to build another video game character. I want you guys to guess who this one is. Normally, I use, like, a human to sort of start it off with. Not today. Nope. I'm starting with a sphere. That's right. Let's just go with this ball. I'm going to make it kind of a little bit bigger just to make it easier to build. And we need... Oh, maybe get these orange things like this. This one's going to be really hard to build because I don't know if I have the right shapes to be able to do it. But see how we go. All right, delete those things. That's not looking so bad. It kind of looks like a sphere with two mouths at the moment. It would be pretty amazing if one of you guys could actually guess it already. <laughs> That'd be incredible. All right, get a couple of cone shapes. Chuck those on. Just jam them inside this guy's head like this. Very cool. All right, nice. Now I need... Uh, I think we'll sort of go with this. Actually, let's use cylinders. Put them around there like that. Cool. What video game character could this one be? I tell you what, the game that it's from has a fair few characters. <laughs> That's a bit of a hint. It's actually a very massive hint. Okay, keep going. All right, then I gotta put these on there like this and chuck them all the way around. Cool. This guy is evolving right before your eyes. Put that there. This is really hard to do. Okay, how's that looking? Not looking too bad. He needs eyes, though. Chuck some eyes on. Yeah, yeah, that's the stuff. That's the stuff. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna add too much more. If I was to add too much, it'd probably give it away, I reckon, and I can't say anything. I'm not saying it. You guys can't make me. I'm not giving you any more hints. I think he looks pretty good, though. But if you guys can guess, actually, this thing here is kind of a hint the thing that he's on, but I don't want to give that away, right? Yeah, job bot. What do you reckon, champ? Just jam him in the sand there. He's been, like, buried. He's in quicksand. <laughs> quicksand is scary. All right, guys, let me know what video game character is this weird ball thing, okay? If you know, you're an absolute legend. Let's fly all the way over to the city. I'm just going to shrink everything down so it's super tiny mode so I can find where I'm going. Also, I deleted another monster, right? I've deleted it somewhere. It's been wiped out of the game completely. If you think you can guess what character it was or what monster it was that I deleted, which I've built before, let me know in the comments. All right, but given that Christmas is coming up, I thought it might be fun to do like a bit of a, uh, like a Christmas themed like food monster, I thought we could do a gingerbread man. All right, but I also want to get like kind of a Christmas tree happening. There we go. Let's get a Christmas tree up here. This is like a festive sort of thing to do. Now, is the gingerbread man, is he going to be like some kind of murderous monster food thing? Maybe. We always got to make him like a little bit creepy. You know what I mean? All right, let's get some baubles and things on here. Just decorating a tree. All right, make a bunch of these red ones, bunch of white ones, bunch of orange ones. And let's just chuck them on here just to give it like a Christmas look. Isn't that weird? As soon as you start putting spheres on a tree shape, you're like, oh yeah, Christmas. Straight away. It just gives it away. It's Christmas. Okay, there it is. That's my Christmas tree. It looks pretty amazing. Let's go ahead and start building the gingerbread man. How do we do this? Holy crap. <laughs> I cannot work out. I'm going to need some brown shapes. All right, come on, brown shapes. And they've got to be flat though. That's the hardest bit. Flat and brown. All right, what do we got here? We got some briefcases. Maybe a briefcase would work. Oh my God. Ooh, we could use like bats for arms. Okay, so that's not bad. Let's get some bats down here. I'm going to put him like this side, I think is a bit better. That way we can sort of see him in the sun. Oh, maybe we could use these. These might be a good gingerbread shape. Yeah. Okay, so sort of make him like this. Maybe he's like a thief. 
Maybe he's like a gingerbread, like, thief, you know what I mean? Like, he steals slings from people. Just, like, straight up, just takes them, snatches them out of the hand, because he's a bad guy. All right, and then I'm gonna go like that, bring him down, and I'm gonna, like, he's gonna kind of look a little bit Minecraft-y, you know what I mean? Like, he's sort of, like, he's sort of got a bit of a Minecraft shape to him, because he's made of blocks. I'm just justifying using these square pieces. What is a gingerbread man shape? Probably like this. I don't think they have much in the way of arms, do they? Like, their arms are very much just, like, little knobs on the side of their body. Like, almost like ears. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, but he looks pretty good. Um, go like that. Like, he's sort of running. Got a bit of a run happening. Yeah, there we go. Hey, that looks all right. He's a bit gingerbread shaped. Okay, the next thing that we need to do to make him look gingerbread like is to give him like the, the outline. You know how they all have that, uh, like the, the icing? Okay, and I'm gonna do it with these things. I reckon that would work. We just put these around, give him like an, an outline. It kind of works being like, um, you know, like a square shaped guy. All right, gingerbread man is looking pretty good. What else does he have? Oh, he has gumdrop buttons. Can't forget that. Oh my God, this is hurting my head to do this. There's so many tiny little features on this guy. Okay, how's that look? We're missing something. Let's get some more of these. All right, these need to go like that. Chuck another one on this side. And I think, yeah, yeah, that's the general shape. That's looking good. Okay, so let's give this guy a face. Um, he, he probably just have circles for eyes. All right, just like this, you know what I mean? Like, they'd probably just give him dots. But I want him to make, like, a, you know, like, he's a little bit wonky. Like, you know, it... The kid who made this gingerbread man had never made one before. It was his first time. So he's a little bit like, a little bit crazy looking like this. All right, he's got some uh, some little buttons on here. <laughs> now he's coming together. Now he's looking really good. All right, and then like a yellow one. Yeah, dude. Awesome. Okay, needs a mouth. <laughs> yeah, nice. Okay. Oh, do I go with that one? Hang on a second. Let's just toss them away, and then we could go like this. Yeah, that kind of works. Okay, good. We've got this guy. Now we just need to add something. Like, maybe we'll add a briefcase, like he's stolen this briefcase. There's, like, money in it. Just a briefcase full of money. There we go. And there's money just, like, flying out everywhere like this. <laughs> he's, like, stolen it from the bank. That is so cool. What would we call a gingerbread man who is also a thief, though? If you guys can come up with a name for this dude... Let me know. Maybe like the Baked Bandit or something. I don't know. That's that's a pretty awesome name. And I just thought of it in about three seconds. What do you guys think? Let me know for a name in the comments. Now, let's go ahead and build our SCP. I'm going to do it like over this side of town. I think this is a good spot to build an SCP. I reckon we build him maybe, oh, maybe just in this bit here. I think it's a really good spot for him. Okay, so this guy is kind of going to be like a forest dwelling SCP. I don't know where this SCP normally lives. I mean, he actually lives in a house, I guess. Except I want to build him bigger than a house. So maybe he's escaped the house. As a matter of fact, let's get this guy. He's going to be my character. This can be John, all right? This guy's name is John, and he's running after his pet. His pet is the SCP. SCP-3166. I think that's the number. <laughs> okay, we need shapes. Lots and lots of shapes to build this guy. I'm going to need these. Uh, What else am I going to need? Probably white ones. Definitely gonna need that. Okay, these are the shapes I'm gonna use to build this character. Oh my god, it's gonna be hard. I might even need to get some more shapes. But it's it's gonna be like kind of a worm shape, I guess, because it's sort of escaping. So I'm just gonna just get these spheres like this. Just join them together. Need a lot of these guys. Dude, this thing is so creepy. It's one of the creepiest SCPs there ever is. Got to give it a little bit more of a slithering action. There we go. All right, looking good. Then I need to add... Like, kind of a big head like this. All right, looking good. Now, here's where things start to get really hard. Doing the face for this thing. I think if we sort of go like this shape. Okay, that that right there is the right shape. Um, I might need some more of these orange spheres. Let's get another one. He's kind of got... Sort of got some cheeks about him a little bit. Um, like that. Don't 100% know. Okay, looking all right. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't guessed, obviously this SCP is pretty much like, it's like a Garfield monster, right? It is, it's creepy. It's from like the sort of the meme or the creepy pasta. I'm sorry, John. Really scary stuff. Okay, I'm going to give him a bit of a mouth because we've got to put some teeth in there. All right, not looking bad. Now we need to get some eyes on him. 
I think I might need an egg shape, though. Oh, yeah, we're building this guy so good. All right, what do we got here? We've got a variety of shapes. That is an egg shape, but it's not really colored. Like, look at that. That's white. It's flesh tone. That's fine. I'm going to use it anyway, because it's the right shape. It's the shape we need. All right, let's put them there. <laughs> oh, scary. So scary looking. All right, pop them there like that. Are they big eyes or does he have little? Actually, you know what? I think he has little eyes and that's what makes him creepy. He doesn't actually have big eyes. Traditional Garfield has big eyes. The creepy version, he has little eyes and they're like, they're real creepy looking. So they're just like tiny inside this disgusting looking head. Just adding these on here, just to give his head like a bit of a texture to it. Sort of makes it look like he's got bags on his eyes. You know what I mean? Or like wrinkles and folds and stuff. Oh yeah, that's good. All right, got to get him a little nose. All right, we've got a nose on there looking pretty decent. Now we just need to get some ears and sort of like his normal Garfield markings. You know what I mean? All right, chucking his ears up on like this. This is the hard bit. Getting his ears on there, right? How's that looking? Yeah, it's not looking too bad. He's sort of got that Garfield look about him. Okay, now we need to get these markings. Might use these. He's got these, like, black lines around him, doesn't he? All right, how's that looking? All right, we'll make him smaller. Yeah, there we go. That's the look I'm going for. Oh, my God. This is really time-consuming. <laughs> yeah, he's got that look about him, though. Looking like Garfield. I actually haven't read the article for SCP-3166, but I reckon I'm gonna go and read it. Like, I've seen the memes and stuff, but I do want to read it. Let me know in the comments if there's any SCPs you want to see me build. And I don't really want to build, like, you know, all the usual, like, shy guy or old man or anything like that. Or, you know, SCP, like, what is it? The, the statue one. I can't remember what number he is. Because I've done those ones before. I just sort of want to build, like, you know interesting and new ones all right that's looking pretty good all right just gonna give him some like sort of some strange arms coming out the side of him just like this there we go that looks all right i think you'll just have like these big old claws or something yeah that looks good get them claws jamming into the ground like he's just about ready to tear up a deer or something <laughs> okay not bad now he needs teeth and this guy has lots of teeth all right just gonna start chucking these teeth up here this is gonna be so hard there's like loads of teeth because such a big mouth kind of reminds me of that huggy wuggy tree i built that time definitely has that look about it just like loads of teeth jammed into a mouth you know what i mean like too many teeth but i have some of the teeth like sticking out in strange directions all right there we go making monsters with fin pie. definitely made a lot of different monsters on this channel okay that's not looking too bad i might just stick some teeth sort of coming out just here as well like little ones yeah just like this sort of like the the teeth are growing out of his lips a couple of little hairs just on the side here for detail. I wonder if we could do, like, maybe some whiskers. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is so good. Okay. I'm really happy with my SCP-3166. That is one scary beast. Guys, let me know in the comments what you think of this. Just go ahead and rate him out of five, all right? Is he a five or is he a, a one? I'm thinking he's close to a five. I love this dude already. Definitely one of the favorite things that I've actually built. But if there's anything you want to see me build in this game, let me know in the comments. I'll catch you guys next time.